What's up YouTube? Subway Surfers. The latest update. It's just as easy if not easier than before to do the cheat. Uh, first of all, is your device rooted? If not, you need to head over to XDA Developers website. There's a link in the description. Using a memory editing program like GameCIH does require you to be rooted. Your device has to be rooted. And I've also gotten the question, this is for Android only, not iPad, i anything. No. So, links are in the description. Make sure your device is rooted. Then make sure you download GameCIH. The link is in the description for that as well. And then once you've done that, you need to first open up GameCIH. It'll ask for root access. Um, if your device is rooted, it'll you tell it you grant it access, and after that, it'll say network server mode enabled, enjoy hidden mode or whatever. Hit OK, and you're done with that. From there, you need to hit the home button so you can go back to your apps and then start up Subway Surfer. Once inside Subway Surfer, your game does not have to be uh, brand new. You don't have to reset your stats or anything like that. All you need to do is go into a game, start the game, and immediately as soon as it starts, as soon as you start to run, press pause. Because you have zero coins at that point. You have not yet collected a coin. You go to Game CIH, click the tab in the top left hand corner. Top left hand corner is where it's at by default. It'll be just sticking out from your left, the left side of your screen just a little bit. Click on that. Click on the magnifying glass and then click on input number. And you will type in the number zero. It'll take a few seconds and then tell you there's like maybe 15 million matches or something. Just click back. Down at the bottom you'll see a back button. Click back. That'll take you back out of game CIH. And then into the game you hit resume, start collecting coins. Um, when you get to a spot where you can pause it but actually see the coins you have, meaning um, it's tough to pause the game while you're running and you don't you need to know the amount of coins you have at that moment that you pause the game. So you run for a few seconds, okay you've collected three coins. Pause the game. Go back into game CH. It'll have um, input number at the top and it'll have the amount that you the amount that it's already found with the number zero you just click on input number click on that name input number again and then type in three and it should give you a very small um, it, sh it should narrow it down a lot that probably isn't going to get you to where you need to be yet so go back into the game do the exact same thing you're going to collect some more coins when you, let's say you've got 25, okay, you see that, hit pause, hit input number again on game CIH, it should narrow it down, um, let's say there's 10 left, okay, it may be more than that still, it may be less, but what you're wanting to do is get that down to a small manageable amount. Sometimes you can get lucky depending on the number, and you may only have one or two. That's great, you change the value of both of those. Um, let's say both of them, you only have, let's say two numbers come up and they're both a value of 25. Let's say that's how many coins you have. Change them both to 500,000, which is, this is the number I always use. So you change those both to 500,000. You type in the number 500,000, click OK. Go to the next number, 500,000, click OK. Click the back button again. You will not see your number, the amount of coins that you have, change yet when you collect your next coin it will reflect the amount that you put in so you resume the game again collect another coin and that should pop up now you've got five hundred thousand and one coins I'm sorry five hundred million and one coins uh... go ahead and die whenever after that now that will basically tell the game that you've collected five hundred million plus coins during that run and now you have that many coins enough to unlock all the characters and everything like that now the same thing works doing the, is the exact same way works to collect the easter eggs if you're trying to get the uh, the chick board that you can unlock you have to collect a hundred easter eggs let's say you have zero eggs 
you start the game, type in zero for your number, um, and it's run through the same process. You're just narrowing down those variables. It's very easy. I'm doing this video in a different format than my other videos, uh, basically because people have been asking for an update. Um, the way I explained it in the first video still works, but this is, I, I think I'm explaining it a little bit easier this time. Hopefully, if not, let me know. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe. I really appreciate it. There's going to be a lot more videos coming out soon. The next video I'm going to do is going to be on... I'll probably do, well I've got the Simpsons game uh, tapped out, I've got that one I need to make a video on. And then uh, Candy Crush Saga is a hugely popular game, so I'm sure some people are looking for that one. In other news, if you didn't know, which you probably didn't know yet, I am a big time gamer. I play on the PS3 and I play on the Xbox. Um, I've been playing more on the Xbox lately. Uh, my gamer tag on the Xbox is down below if you'd like to add me if you play. I'm only playing Call of Duty, that's the only game I have for the Xbox at the moment. Well, Black Ops 2 and Minecraft, that's the only two games I have. So, if you want to add me and play some Black Ops 2 with me, awesome, I appreciate it. My name's down below. Anyway, um, I appreciate it, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.